This is YBR with BMG Drive. So today we're going to look at a mod for a car. The car is pretty much the same except for one minor difference on the spoiler that is on it. So we're going to look at that because I think it's pretty cool what it does. So we'll go to, um, well, let's go to Coastal Road. This is an old version of it, I'm pretty sure, but that's okay. Uh, it's still, uh, it, it still serves its purpose for what we want. We want a kind of like a high speed place with churns. And this one, it fills that really well. So anyways, what we're going to do is we're going to pull out the new bolide so we can take a look at it. So right here, it's called bolide plus retractable spoiler. There it is. Now, right now it looks totally flush with the car, right? The back end. If you go about 30 miles per hour, so you see the spoiler lifts up and it goes back down when you go below the speed too, but it lifts up and it gives you extra downforce for better grip. It also goes halfway or so when you reach above 70, 75 miles per hour around there. So after we get up this uphill area, we can show you that. Well, how about this? I'll show you this instead. When you brake, it goes higher. You see that? It went even higher. It also does that when you brake in reverse. I have no idea how much help that actually is, but it's kind of funny. And see about 70 miles per hour or so right there. There we go. It's about halfway up. You can see it's not all the way up, but it's not 100% flush with the car. I froze physics just so you could see easier without me crashing because we were about to crash just trying to get up to the speeds. And then when you get up to about 120, 115 or so, it goes flush with the car again, just like it is right here. So it's more than just a visual mod, though. It actually does affect the handling of the car, and it does improve it. Makes it just ever so slightly easier to handle, I would say. At least for the way I drive, it makes it easier to drive. Because you can kind of turn into things a little bit harder without having to worry about spinning out. Where the other one, if you turn into something, the same hardness at like the real limits of the car, you're more likely to spin out. This one, it seems like it'll stay planted just, just enough where it won't mess you up. Like right, just enough, you know? It's not a huge change, but you can feel it when you drive. For example, here, we'll do it the same exact thing without the spoiler, and you'll see that I'm going to drive the same way, even though it's kind of not appropriate when you don't have the spoiler, but you'll see how it kind of kicks out more in the back whenever you're kind of when you're trying to accelerate and such and churn at the same time. Just, if I spin out, it's because I'm trying to drive it like it was the other car, which does have more grip. So, for example, here we go. You see that, how much more it kicks out right there? kicks out way more just because it has less grip on those rear tires from the lack of downforce. Hopefully you can see the difference between the two because this one it's is way more slippery to drive is what I'm saying. So we got about the same distance on both right there. It also unfortunately affects the top speed of the car so let's go somewhere else to do that. So we'll go to um, I don't know where we'll go We'll go to the race um, area. Um, it was Rock Falls, I think it is. The one that I use the drag racing for. I don't think the timer works, but that's okay. We don't need the timer right now. Rock Falls, there we go. This is the one with the drag circuit, and it doesn't have a working timer it used to, but it doesn't. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a drag race here between the two cars, and you should see that the top speed at the end of the whole like a mile-long section after the quarter mile that it is slower in top speed with the wing and such. So hopefully you'll be able to tell. First we'll do a run with this, the one with the fancy wing. You know, another thing that might be useful to have up actually, now that I think about it, is something that tells you the amount of, um, not G-force, just like the weight per tire here. That might be useful, I think, if I can set it up right. Just set it right over here. I don't know if it'll really be much use, but it might be interesting. Because it's, like it's always changing numbers, so it's kind of hard to kind of look at that while you're driving, but we'll see. So anyways, we're going to do a drag race with this one, and then the other one, without the wing.
Uh, okay, that was, wow. So I'm trying to watch those tire things, and I look over, and I'm like, oh, I hit a wall. So, okay, let's not, I'm not going to look at the tire things. You can look at them and come to your own conclusions if it's different, because I want to make sure I don't crash into a wall again, because that's dumb. Wow, this thing is a little squirrely still, though. Just right there, it was just a little bit... All right, so you see we got about 135 miles per hour, 130, 40, just under 140 with the that with that wing and all that, the spoiler. Yeah, I know, it's a spoiler, but I call it a wing. It's just the first word that comes to mind. I think I might have said that before, but just in case, yeah. If I say wing, I mean spoiler. Okay, so there we go. Here it is, the one without it, though. You'll see it's able to get up to a much higher top speed. Just doing the same run, even if it's just a little bit. It's well, I'll even make sure I'm a little squirrely too, right? See, we're at 140 right now, 145, 150-ish. So you can see just plainly, just from that, that it is faster than the top speed without the wing, but the wing helps with the handling and that thing got torn up look at that you know another thing we could do that might be interesting annoyingly the game decided to crash so whatever it's okay games do that so next up I want to test something different I want to test if it affects the aerodynamics if the car was flying through the air and how it affects the braking, having the wing lifting up, the spoiler lifting up on the back, how it actually affects the braking. So to do this test, what I have them to do, my plan is this. We're going to drop a car from way up here, one with the, the wing spoiler straight down, not doing anything. The other one braking, making it lift up as high as it can go. And we're going to see the difference. So first we'll get the normal one out. And we're going to actually use the normal one for both. Oh god, I hit the wrong car. I don't know what I was thinking. I just clicked whatever I wanted, I guess. I don't know. I wasn't focusing. <laughs> okay. All right, so without the way, without it open, it does that. Okay. Makes it a instant convertible. All right, and holding it... Oh, it doesn't hold it. Okay, hold on. I got to do that a little differently. I got to put in a manual transmission... All right, there we go. Now to work. And we're going to hold the brake from the very start. Oh, look at that. It tips backwards. The other one tipped forwards. The wing being lifted made it tip backwards. Look. It's going to tip forward if I don't brake. See? And, of course, it goes splat. But if I hold the brakes on, which lifts it up, it tips backwards. Look at that. It actually makes a difference. So, if you were smart about things, you could probably use that to help stabilize yourself and land flat. Almost. It went a little crooked for some reason, but it almost worked. Uh-oh. That one was too late. I want, I want to see if I can do that. It's harder than it looks. you got to tap it, basically. No. The second you get unlevel, you're screwed. Because there's nothing you can do about it. And the camera. Having to rotate the camera every time is not helping. Because I have no idea which way the car is falling. See, if I just had the camera better, it would be able to tell. So that goes a little crooked for some reason, but that was still an interesting thing to see. What if you had break all brake groups? Wing is still there, sort of. I just like doing that, it's fun. Alright, next thing we gotta test is braking distance, but first, brake all brake groups. Does the wing stay attached? Ah, it does. What a nice wing. Spoiler. 
I swear to God, if anybody says anything about me saying that, try to correct it, but it's like, you know what, screw it. I'm calling it a wing. All right, so next thing is braking distance. To test that, mm, this will work, I guess. It'll be a little difficult, but it'll work. All right, we'll top it out in second gear and find a spot to brake. That'll be the plan. So we'll start over here where everything starts to get rough and go the opposite direction and find a spot to brake at. And then we'll do one run with the stock version one and one with the not stock. All right, break there. All right, I kind of screwed that up. I was thinking I was in automatic, which means you have to let up on the brakes when you get to the very end because it'll go in reverse otherwise. I forgot I was in manual, so I didn't need to do that. So let me try that again. Okay, so that's where I ended up. Why does it keep rolling? Alright, about here. What I'll do is I'll make another car. Then I'll use that one and see what it does. Actually, will this work? No, that was dumb. Goodbye, truck! So we're going to try the exact same thing, see what happens. Just see if it actually works, you know? Got to figure that out. All right, we're going to use the exact same one, but I'll manually remove the spoiler. What the heck? I thought I hit the... Weird. Don't know what happened. I thought I clicked it, but I didn't. I'm just not clicking things good right now, I guess. Spoiler off. It's an automatic. Hold on. There we go. Don't know how I broke the, the GUI though. Look at that! It makes a difference! I'm pretty sure that made a difference. Look at that, it will stop slower without the... So it works! It's cool. So yeah, that is the retractable wing spoiler for the bolide. I think I broke it. No, it still works. So that's pretty cool. Let's see what happens if you crash the back end if it still works. Wow, that's unbelievable. I was trying to keep it straight, really. It's just not easy to keep a car going backwards straight. And now what does it do? Oh, it's still trying. Look. Oh. Now I feel bad. I feel like a bully. It's trying to work, but man, I don't know if it will like that. It's all curving like every which way. I don't know what's going on with it no more. Can't drive this thing in reverse. It is just so unstable trying to drive it in reverse at like 60 miles per hour. The car looks all smushed too, poor thing. Still works. I mean, I don't know if it functions, but it moves. Is there a difference? There's a difference. Function means it does what it's supposed to. Moves means it moves. I 
I don't think no matter what you could do, you could actually stop it from functioning. Question is, can you break it off? Where is this car? It's way out here. What are you doing? Hit it pretty hard. The wing is still on. Bumper cars. Yeah, because I'm so rich I can play bumper cars with old supercars. Come on, flip over. Flip over. Oh, so close. Alternative idea. Drop it. Hit the brake all great brake bleh. Then drop it. That wing is still there, isn't it? Still there? I don't think it comes off. That is my conclusion. It does not come off. It's there forever. Alright, so that is the retractable spoiler on the bolide. Pretty neat. One of those things where I think it'd be cool if it was just on the stock one even. Because it seems like it works nicely. Uh, anyways, until next time, this has been YBR. I'll see ya.